Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hello, everyone on YouTube. It's your boy, The Memphis Accelerator. I'm back. It's been a while. How are you doing? I missed you so much. And it's time once again, everybody, for another episode of everyone's favorite show. Who the f*** says Karibos cannot win? The show, we take a look at a Karibo variant. And we have ourselves a good old fun time with it on good old EDO Pro. Show off the combos, the wombos, the have-dos, and the have-nots. And we'll have ourselves a good time. So today, everybody, we move over from the trolley variants. We're getting into the lights of Karibos. And we're taking a look at when Karibo level 10 nuke the board and make children cry. That's right, we saw ourselves our Wing Kribo deck that is combined with another archetype that likes to blow stuff up, which is the Fire King archetype. We have a mostly going second, slightly going first variant of this deck. We're trying to let our opponent do stuff, blow up all their stuff, and then make them cry, and as they try to build back up, blow them up again. That's what we like to do. So, we have ourselves our deck here today. We're going to be showing off in some duels on good old EDO Pro, showing off how it works and what you do with it. Don't forget to smack the like and the subscribe button if you enjoy this, if you find this informative. All the good stuff, because finally Memphis has told me we're pushing that a little bit harder. So for our main deck today, we have ourselves one copy of the Wink Rebo Nuke on Legs, one, two copies of our True King, the Agnamazu, three copies of Gooey Monster, three copies of Discount Mega Ultra Chicken, one copy of OG Discount Mega Ultra Chicken, one copy of You're Not Allowed, three copies of Ganesha, one copy of This Dude with a Stick, three copies of Three More Dudes with More Sticks. We have th two copies of Wing Karibo, the OG Mastermind. Three copies of a Lightning Bolt, one copy of a Feather Duster, one copy of whatever the hell's going on in this artwork, one copy of Rekindling, three copies of the Flute that Summons the Boy, two copies of the Thing that Turns the Boy into the Bigger Boy, one copy of a Dragonic Diagram, three copies of a Volcano Island, two copies of the Thing that Just Tells Your Opponent No, and three copies of Blow Up the Board and Burn Both Players' Hands. For our extra deck, which we don't have a full one of because we don't really need it too much, we have one Link Karibo, one Mascarena, one Proxy Dragon, one copy of Phoenix and Unicorn, we have Access Code Talker, Boral Sword Dragon. These are all targets for rekindling if we ever get into it. We got ourselves Abomination, Unchair, Underworld, Goddess of the Closed World. We have Dugares here for drawing into things. Excite Time Knight who blows stuff up. Boguska if we get two level fours on the board and we just happen to need some defense. And a Chimera Tech, you know, in case of Dragons, that sort of thing. Honestly, you can put whatever else you want in the O2 slots. If you want a Tiss, if you're up against, like, Dogmatica, go ahead. If you want to throw in some crazy tech card, whatever. I don't really care about the extra deck today. So, as for the side, a lot of things here. Uh, Lava Golem is just my tech. If you want to go for something different, depending on what you're up against, you can go for Sphere or for big rock, depending on what you're up against. Another scythe is completely unnecessary, but you could throw it in if you wanted it. Onslaught lets you turbo rock with a chicken and blow it up during the end phase, but you have to be, you know, going second with that. We are going second, but I have better options, so that's just more of a, a personal choice there. If you really want more draws to trying to get into the things you want, I would recommend Pot of Prosperity over the Pot of Desires, because since we don't really care about the extra deck half as much, we can get rid of it to draw more things, so that's an option there. Another rekindling if you want to make more use of the extra deck. You also have things like Berserker Crush to make Wing Karibo get stupidly large. Twin Twisters if you feel like you need a more back row removal, but at that point you might as well just change this out for Lightning Storm. Uh, you might wonder why I'm not going for Lightning Storm. It's because I don't want to. That's why. Uh, lastly, we got things like Circle of the Fire King, Switch of Fire, Four Fire, blowing stuff up at the same time. And Detonate is there because originally I was going to be playing, you know, the Multiply Karibos, but uh, that was a bit too bricky, so stopped doing that. So, that's the deck here, everybody. It's time to go now into EDO Pro, show this deck off, show you how it works, and blow stuff up. Alright, he had a first opponent, another day, another card game. We like to go second with this deck. We can go first as well, that's a Fine, we could do that. It's not like I can't do it. I just don't prefer it, but it's fine. 
We got our Fire King Islands. Let's go ahead and add a Fire King monster. Want to pop one of our cards? Look, we have Garunix already. And yes, this is, initially this deck will see more Fire King. A lot of it is. But, you know, Wing Karibo, he's there. I've got the means of getting him. I've got the means of going into my Wing Karibo level 10. He will appear. I am sure. But, you know, for the, for the most part, I didn't want to focus exclusively on level 10. Because I feel like that leads into, like, you know, nothing happening otherwise. Like, it's like a one-trick pony thing. We have a deck that, you know, it's got multiple tricks to do the same tricks, if you might want to put it that way. Well, we're just trying to blow stuff up. Not so much negation. I, mean, I think I like one negate. Okay, I got an Arvada. I got, like, two negates. But... The, the most of my deck is just, like, blow stuff up, really. And then Garunix is here, and he blows stuff up. And... I could blow up Yaksha, but there's really not much point to doing that. And I still have Arvata, but he's going to blow himself up. Ah, uh, wait, no. Is that... I mean, that blows me up anyway, so there's, like, no point in... Blowing that up. There's no point in negating this. Not really. Uh, shut up, phone. Alright, Dimension Shifter. That we need to negate. That I'll negate. And my opponent surrenders. Like a wussy. I didn't even do anything. Wussy boy. And your Dimension Shifter. All I had to do was stop Dimension Shifter. Have people gotten worse at this game since I've been gone? I think they might have been. Uh, well, I'll count that as a win because uh, my opponent crit like a baby. Uh, but we'll do a bonus duel because that was really short. So let's go for duel number two. Try to get the Wink Rebo going. See how that goes. And uh, actually do what the deck is trying to do. All right, his second opponent. Let's go do it again. And let's see. This opening hand is interesting. It's not great, but it's got it's got it's got some it's got some stuff. I mean, it's very fire kingy. Is that a word? Is that a word? I'm gonna name it a word. So my opponent just set a card. Little iffy about that, but I do have transcendent wings. So that's cool. Now all I just need is winged Karibo, and all in the world will be good. So we'll go for our Vata here, and we'll attack our opponent. We'll see what happens. Nah. Definitely not. Nacro doesn't know how to play card games. That would be silly. Go and negate that. I don't need no gaga gas. No goo goo goos. Thank you very much. And we'll just go from there. Pretty set. Pretty set. And let's go ahead and get Baron going. And no. Nope. We'll get ourselves another Arvata to replace. The one we lose. You know, our father did his job. He kept a level four off the board. Do I, I mean, I probably could have just let it happen, but I wanted to do damage, okay? I'd like to do damage. The first guy gave up too soon. This guy, I just wanted to, I just, I just wanted to do some damage. And our father, let's go ahead and bring that Barong in case we get nuked. Which, if all goes well to plan, we will. So, we'll see what this guy has got going. I mean, we don't know yet. It's Gaga Gaz, but what does that even mean? He set one card and he's got a Gaga Ga. We'll find out. Oh no, this thing's name is so long, I can't read it. Zubaba Bonso Giga Guga 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 Coat. How do you pronounce these names? Such a weird, unyielding. Ooh, finally. Look. We have to at least try it, right? Alright, so set two. We only have so many cards, so I'm just going to not do any of that. Let's attack into the Great Coat. Why not? I don't see a reason not to. And we'll be good. That's right. And the minute his turn starts, Fruit of Summoning Karibos. I shall special summon this in defense mode. Okay, full disclosure, the way this guy's deck is going. Oh, never mind. 
I was about to say, the way his deck is going, I don't think we're going to have problems. At the same time, I think we're going to finally go for Transcendent Wing, no matter what he does. Okay, he summoned his uh, little Emoto. Add a Gaga Ga spell trap, getting Gaga Ga Revenge. Is this like a pure Gaga Ga, Ga deck? Kind of interesting. I, I kind of like that. A little bit. I kind, I kind of like that. You know, I, I can't get around that. Uh, at the same time, he just summoned a little girl, so I'm not that impressed. So, Ga 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 Revenge. Ga 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 Ga. And. Becomes a level. Oh, they become level 6. Okay. Okay. That's a thing. Uh, so making rank 6, which is. Uh, it's Photon Strike Bouncer. Well, that's annoying. Um. Dang it. I wanted to do something cool. This guy didn't let me do that. I mean, I was going to do the thing. But if he's got this, there's no point in doing that. I was hoping he would make, like, something, like, Utopia or something. But he didn't. Um. So, this thing just gets 300 because of, um, this, right? Okay. Is there any point to Transcendent Wing? No, I, I lose more than I gain. Darn it. Uh, okay, so Fire King is destroyed. Um, oh yeah, that only works on stuff on the field, so. Yeah. We'll go for Baron here. Man, I, I feel down. I, I was going to do something cool, but my opponent was like, I'm going to do something stinky. See, the game wants me to do it. You can't tell me that it doesn't. Alright, so let me think about this. Uh, I could make Baguska, but I feel like that's kind of like, eh. Let's see. Put as more cards in the hand or field than you do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. No. No, Exciton Knight will not work, sadly. Uh, now I'm starting to actually wish I'd cared about the extra deck a little bit. Uh, but I didn't. Okay. I could make Agnamazood. Hmm. But if Lewis leaves the field, then I lose all my stuff. Hmm. Defense mode. And I'll pop Arvada. Get another Garnix. And let's see, Arvata will bring back a monster. I'll have a lot of monsters, basically. Um, Bring back Garunix, why not? You know, come hell or hot water, we're gonna try some stuff here. Some stuff and some things. Uh, but basically what we're trying to do is wait for him to summon more things. And go from there. Um. Oh wait, shoot! I forgot. Our, well, he'll, he'll negate this, right? Yeah, he'll negate. Actually, yeah, he'll have to negate this with Bouncer. See, I know what I'm doing. I planned this all along. It was all part of my evil master plan. Y'all yeah, thought I made a mistake. I made no such mistake. What the hell is this? Um, can't summon except for Gaga -ga -ga monsters. Okay, so no more strike bouncers. Summon the sister, which does nothing except make them both level six. Uh, does this do a similar thing? No, it does not. Okay, I am fine with this. I am a-okay with all that's going on right now. Because now it is time. Transcendent bling! Okay, so we're going to go get rid of this. And already have one of these. And one of those. 
Behold the glory that is Wing Three by level ten. Go away. <laughs> Oh, oh, it was so worth it. Oh, it just destroyed everything. All of this guy's hopes and dreams are gone forever. And that's exactly what we need to do. Okay, now he's doing something else. Stop it. It's my turn now. You can only summon Gaga Goo Goos. Don't pretend like you can do anything else. Uh, yeah, this is a once. Well, that's not a solid once per turn. Is there a rank 6 Gaga Ga? I don't think there is. Because he's locked into Gaga Goo Goos. And I don't think there's any rank 6 Gaga Goo Goos. They only have like rank 4s. As far as I'm aware. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't think I'm mistaken. Is this actually Necro? I doubt it. Necro doesn't know how to play this deck. Or maybe he does. I have no idea. Alrighty. Well, I'm happy as a fiddle. A hat, a fiddle's happy, I don't care. What I care about is the fact that we are going to kick butt. All right. I don't need Lava Golem anymore. I'm sorry, I just don't need you. I'm going to get my other Garnix. So that way, if this guy does any monster effects, I can start looping Garnix and nuke the board every damn turn. And that, my ladies and gentlemen, is exactly the... That's the heart and soul of this deck. Just keep blowing stuff up. Although, he has no life points left. There's no point in doing that. But, we didn't know what this is. This could be Mirror Force for all we know. Nope. That's what I thought. Alrighty. Well, that was the perfect second duel. A much more casual opponent than I would like. But, heck, I got to do what I wanted to do. I summoned out Wink Rebo. Blew everything up. Things were nifty. So... Let's go ahead for a third opponent. I uh, might do a fourth. We'll see how it goes. Probably do a fourth. We'll see how it goes. But uh, for now, duel number three. All right, everybody. Our third and sadly final opponent. We got to keep these under half an hour, apparently. So, you know, we'll have one last good duel. See where we go. Our opening hand is. Well, it really depends on what our opponent's playing, to be honest. I mean, I've got Lava Golem. That's good. I've got Sanctum for later, so we'll see. Advance. Loser Miho is the name. So this is a... Oh, wait. This is Crystal Beast. Okay. I know this is like Add a Crystal Beast and a Field Spell. So this might be the Advanced Crystal Beast. Yep. Oh, okay, boy. Well, I'll get a sneak preview here of what those do. The Dark Field Spell really doesn't do much. It just takes all those monsters, make them dark. All the Crystal Beasts, I should say, makes them dark. And then, uh, Ultimate Crystal Beast attacks, need the effects of the attack target. If Crystal Beast would take damage, ditch Crystal Beast to not take the damage. It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thingy thing, one might say. Uh, one bad thing is Sanctum really won't work as well. Uh, because, like, his fusion's a trap card. Although, I think he's just gonna kind of, like, combo off here. Pegasus will put, I don't know, something here. And then Carbuncle can summon itself. Don't need to worry about using other things to bring out Carbuncle. He'll just bring himself to the board. And then he'll summon this... Meh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I, th I thought he was gonna do a lot more than that. Okay. Uh, kind of hoping he would have done more than that? Question mark? Might have helped me just a smidge? Uh, okay. What's the end of the turn right there? You know? Keep it nice and simple. I guess this guy's gonna try and, like, combo in some men, or I'm really hoping to, like, stall him with Sanctum. Because if I can stall him with Sanctum for a turn, then... Do some stuff. I mean, Blazing Mirror Force will only do me so much good. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit him with Sanctum now. See how that does us. We'll summon this out. And we're going to put this in defense mode, actually. To try and bait him out. Yep. Carbuncle. And then... I guess he can just, like... Okay, there he is. There's the Amber Mammoth. Um... 
Yeah, that has to target. I don't auto do no targeting. So he's got Mammoth, got Carbuncle, got Pegasus. And I can blow him up and still do damage. So I'll just go into the spell trap zone and he can summon him later. But I'm still going to do it, because that's kind of the idea. Alrighty. Be like, hey, Blazing Mirror Force, baby. Take some damage. I'll take damage too, but I can take it. I'm a big boy. I'm a bit of a big boy, one might say. These will all go to the spell zone, but... He still ought to take at least some form of damage, right? Yep, 1900. It's a hit. It's a bit of a hit. Now the question is... What do... Ooh, Parking Island could be... Very lucrative. The sad thing about Nephthys is that she only blows up stuff during your standby phase. She had to wait like a whole turn. If I got this turn one, it would have been perfect, but uh, I didn't get to do that, so... Screws on me, I suppose. So we'll go ahead and blow up Nephthys. Might as well get her set up for later. And what do I want? What does a man want right now? Let's go ahead and get... Get Baron. We'll keep it nice and simple, I feel. I think that will work just fine. So. Let me think about this here. I'm going to set my other copy of Flute, just in case. So if this is the trap that summons the fusion, I'm pretty much screwed. So there's no reason to not... Just kind of go for it. You know? I probably should have summoned Brong too, but this will work just... I'm just going to keep this in hand. In case I need it. Alright, so a second Ruby Carbuncle. Now, what are the odds of him playing three of this thing? I imagine it's not that hard to, for him to do. Alrighty. So he's just going to put the other Carbuncle there. That works just fine. And, uh, hmm, you know what, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep borrowing. I, I, for some reason, I feel like it's a good idea to keep this thing right now. For now. Alright. Now wishing I had, an, like, a torrential right now would be nice, but I don't have that. Hmm, okay. So he's gonna be able to bring back the carbuncle. Sad thing indeed, if I'd only been able to have this turn one going, things would have been a lot different, because then I could have nuked his back row. And Crystal Beast, kind of don't like it when you do that. So, now he's got to the Sapphire Pegasus. And he's got three monsters, and he's going to go for a fourth, that being the Eagle. Alrighty. I mean, he certainly got things set up the way Crystal Beast like. I mean, he's going hand over hand trying to get them rainbow dragons on the board. I'm really more afraid of the one that shuffles everything back into the deck, which would be bad. Uh, but one good thing is he needs to make something out of these to get over Scythe. Because Scythe is kind of bigger than all his monsters. Unless he had, like, what was his name? Topaz Tiger, I think is the one. It gives all of his monsters a boost. I don't know if he has it, though. If he had it, he probably would have summoned it by now, so... He's gotta do some thinking. Cherubini? What? Um... Well, I guess it does work on any level 3 monster. Who knew? Okay. Okay, so, sending Amethyst Cat. That'll make this... 1700. That's an improvement. It is an improvement. I mean, setting up the grave, that's always good. Certainly has the grave set up a little bit harder. Oh, he has three exact darks. Because he's all become dark because of advanced dark. He could summon Dark Arm Dragon. Like a Chad. This ain't no Chad. He, he ain't gonna summon no room. He ain't gonna summon no Dark Arm Dragons. Unfortunately. That would've been cool. To be honest, if he had that, I would actually applaud this dude, but I don't think he has that. No, instead we're going to go for another foolish. 
descending. What the heck was? Oh, the tr the counter trap. Ah, uh, the the the. the. Crystal Beast places his bell trap zone with the card is in the grave. Banks his card, place Crystal Beast from the hand, blah, 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 in the zone. Okay. So basically, we got the uh, the Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, which you can summon from the hand. Kind of forgot he had that. Uh, Banks his card, create a continuous spell, summon. Card from the deck, don't really care too much. I've got Winged Karibo. I might take some damage, but I won't take too much damage. Okay, so basically how this is going to work is he's going to... I guess he can cancel the attack. I'm pretty sure he's going to crash into me. Or, maybe not. I thought he was going to crash into Scythe so that he could, you know... Set up another crystal beast. Get that turtle in the grave. Get that tiger going. But I guess not. Alrighty, that's a okay. I'm not taking damage this turn. And I've got Fire King Island. I've got Barong still. I'm all, I'm pretty set. I'm fairly reasonably set. Alrighty, so my opponent made Appaloosa of the Bruiser. Uh, which is exactly what we were kind of hoping for. So we'll go ahead for... Well, this is an automatic thing, but yeah, we'll go for Neptis. He'll negate this, obviously. I mean, there's no reason for him to not negate that. Sadness, but whatever. Good old Appaloosa the Bruiser. And no nuke for me. Uh, but what I can do, go for Fire King Island here. Be like, hey, pop the wrong, get Garnix for later. And finally, abuse Lava Golem. Look at that boy. He's sitting proud and pretty. And we'll have their turn. You know, every once in a while, a Lava Golem, he can be very helpful. I mean, I got rid of Appaloosa with it. That's pretty damn useful in my book. So he'll take a little smidge of damage, a little bit of a thousand points of damage. And let's see here. Yep, Barong will go off. I get to search Arvata. See, all's looking good. This is the perfect synergy right now. We got our winged Karibo protecting us. We got our Fire Kings getting ready to blow up stuff. I've got our Vata. Things are looking good. I think things are looking all right here. I mean, he does have a grave full of buoys. Uh, but he's missing two crystal... Oh, he's missing one crystal beast now. Oh, what's this do? Uh, also face up monsters. Your opponent controls. Lose attack. Big deal. Okay, that's a slightly bigger deal. Um, how does this guy do... Send all crystal beasts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is the one that's not as bad. Like, he can become big. And he can shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. Uh, which he might do? Question mark? I believe that, doesn't like one of the fusions require this and a bunch of different dudes? Well, that answered that question. That answered the question, all right, it did. Indeed, it did. All right, so now he has this thing. What does it do? Uh, trigger this card, shuffle as many cards on the field as possible into the deck. Summon any number of banished crystal beast monsters. This is a quickie effect? Okay. Um. So. If the stand mouse will start working. Uh, so, Tribute himself, shuffle the cards into the deck. Okay, so play Blazing Mirror Force, bait this out. Oh, he had that. Ah, I see. That's a thing. Alrighty, well... I might be dead. 
I mean, we'll give it a shot anyway. I have no reason not to attempt this, although I'm pretty sure he'll just cancel the attack, tribute this, summon these, and then I lose, basically. Because this thing is nasty. It's a nasty big thing. You can just tribute it, get rid of everything, summon... Oh, oh, oh. Okay! Uh, was not expecting that. Oh, wait. That's right. He can't do... Well, he could. But he really doesn't want to do that, does he? Does he now? I don't think he does. Because if he does, all of his monsters explode. Because he loses the field spell. So that's like a last-ditch effort for him. For me, I don't really care as much. Alright, so what we're going to do here... Fire King Island... Blow up Garnet, and search another one, and end our turn? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he can, he can use this whenever he wants, like right now. Uh-huh. But everything he summons will get destroyed. Right? Because he has no field spell. And they get sent, not destroyed, therefore... Well, I mean, this thing will survive, I think. Yeah. Then again, he does get to recycle them, so that is something. It is something. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring back Garnix. And... Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put him in attack mode. So, this will get destroyed. He could banish it to bring out a dude. And then this thing... Gets him another dude. Okay. I will give this guy... This is a very nice back and forth sort of thing. A little bit of a dance we got going here. Bit of a longer duel than I'd like, but it's a duel nonetheless. So... What's he gonna do? Oh, he had another field spell. That's not good. And Pegasus. Now, does he have another carbuncle? I presume he does. Oh, he can just do it from his grave, too. That's right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's not necessarily good. Yeah, I think I'm, de I'm dead this time. No! Am I dead? Not necessarily. Because, well, it depends on if he has, like, extra deck, like, access code talker or some nonsense like that. Oh, he can't even summon. Oh, that's right. He can't summon this with that. Because it's not an advanced crystal beast. Alrighty, so. What does he have in his graveyard again? He does have Appalooza, so if he goes through Excess Code Talker, we're literally just dead at this point. Which... No? Silent Honor Arc. I know I should have put this in defense mode, but I was all cocky and stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, I figured we weren't going to win this one because he had, like, total field screwage on me. But we gave it a shot. And there you go, there's how good Crystal Beasts are. With those, this is just like the new stuff, too. And I get to show that off. Well, other methods are showing that off. I'm showing off the regular Crystal Beast, but you get to see what uh, the new guys can do. And uh, he's just going to flex on me for a second, but it's understandable. So let's go for the end screen, and we'll talk more about today's deck. All right, everybody. Winged three by level 10, Kablooey. One, two out of three. Admittedly, the first guy just rage quit, and the second guy was pretty lame, but, um, I can't really help that. It's the Wild West Yu-Gi-Oh! You never know what you're up against. And we did have a nice going back and forth with the Crystal Beast, dude. I, I do regret putting Gardix in attack mode. The duel probably would have lost anyway, because, you know, Rainbow Dragon and all that stuff. But, uh, regardless of that, 
I think the deck works fairly well. It's it's a more casual deck, but it has a nice punch to it. And we did get to show that off reasonably well, so I'm happy with it. So thank y'all for watching. Your boy Memphis is signing out for now. Tune in later for Crystal Beast shenanigans from yours. Well, I think it's Memphis first and then me, but regardless, tune in later for some Crystal Beast stuff. And so I'm signing out. See you next time. Don't forget the buttons below. And y'all take care now.